Hi, my name is Natalie and I'm one of the people you talk to when you call us here at Bluehost. Nowadays, most of us use the internet all the time, but lots of us still don't really know how it works. Well, knowing how websites work makes getting online a lot easier. So in this video, we go over the basics of what websites are made of, where websites are stored, and how websites get from where they are to your computer. So first off, websites are really not that complicated. It's true, good websites can take a lot of time, money, and talent to create, but at the end of the day, every website out there is just a bunch of files just like you have on your computer at home. Websites are made of content like pictures, graphics, music, movies, text, and so on. But there is one part that's unique. All websites include computer code written in a programming language called HTML. If you aren't familiar with programming, this code may not look pretty, but the web browser on your computer loves it. See, your browser is designed to use this code to stitch all those files together into a website you can see on your screen. So think of these files as pieces of a puzzle and think of the code like instructions on how to solve it. Now, all these files and the code need a place to be stored. After all, just like music or pictures on your computer at home, website files take up space. Well, that's where this comes in. This is a web hosting server. Well, it's an old one anyway that we used to use here at Bluehost. It may not look like it, but servers like these are just super powerful computers. They look a little different than what most of us have at home. There's no mouse or keyboard, and there's no display. But that's because these computers have just one purpose, and that is to serve as a place for websites to be stored and accessed. So these computers are called servers, not so much because of what they are, but more because of what they do, serve data. They just have a lot of extra hard drives and processors and take a lot more power to run. And they're flat. That's so we can stack them. Here at Bluehost, we have more than 1,000 of these in our data center. Now lastly, how do websites stored on these servers get to your computer at home? Well, when you look up a website, you open up a browser, type in the website or domain name, and press enter, right? Well, after that, behind the scenes, your computer goes online to find the server where that particular website is stored by using what's called the Domain Name System, or DNS. See, a server, just like a building, has an address. The DNS maintains a list of which websites are on which servers and then tells your computer where they are. So think of a DNS as like a phone book for websites. Once your computer finds the server, it connects, gets the files and HTML code, and then your browser puts it all together into a website that you can see and use. So that's it. I hope this helps explain a little bit about how websites work. This was just a very basic overview, so if you want to learn more, don't worry. We're doing several more in-depth videos soon. Just make sure to follow us so you don't miss them.